guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, how are you? Thank you for clicking on this video. Y'all like my hat? I was trying to be at least a little bit festive. It's a little elf hat. See the ears? Yeah. So guys, with Christmas fast approaching, it is literally next week, next Friday. Today is Friday. Let me make sure I have my dates right. Today's the 18th. Yep, next Friday is Christmas. So with everyone doing Vlogmas and just little holiday things. I haven't done Vlogmas in a while, maybe like two or three years ago um, I did Vlogmas and then one time I tried and then didn't continue all the way through. So my friend Carol, her channel is Carol Ray, go check her out, and my friend Edna from Edna's World, they both did a Christmas tag. Now their questions are similar but different, so I decided, you know, I want to do a Christmas tag also, so I'm just going to combine some of each of their questions. A lot of them are the same, so yeah, let's get started, you guys. I tried to at least be somewhat festive. I mean, I guess I could have wore my ugly Christmas sweater, but then I would have been hot because it's kind of warm in here right now. So I put this little elf hat on, so that's festive enough. And then I decided to sit in front of my Christmas tree, which I don't know if that was a good idea or not because the bum is hurting. Anyway, I have all my questions here. I don't want to make it too long, so that's why I'm not going to use everything from both of their tags because it's a little bit different. So here we go. Favorite Christmas movie or show? I don't know if I could pick just one, but if I had to pick one favorite Christmas movie, it would have to be It's a Wonderful Life. I absolutely love it, and I know they did it in color, but you gotta watch the original in black and white. It's amazing, so that's my favorite. But Christmas Story also, um, all the Home Alones, well not all of them, only first and second one, because when they went on with another kid, that's when it got weird. We watched the Polar Express, we watched The Grinch with Jim Carrey. We watched A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey. So those are like our go-to movies every year. And then of course, the cheesy Lifetime and Hallmark shows that come on every year. You know, always gotta watch those even though you know how it's gonna end. Yeah, but if I had to pick a favorite Christmas movie, it would definitely be It's a Wonderful Life in black and white. Have you ever had a white Christmas? No, I live in Sacramento and it's mostly inland, so if I want to go to the snow, I have to drive to Tahoe or Reno or something like that, or yeah. So no, I've never had a white Christmas. Favorite Christmas cookie or treat? Um, I like the peppermint shortbread cookies, or what's the thing that Starbucks makes? Like the peppermint, that peppermint bark? I think that would be my favorite so anything with peppermint in it not that I like peppermint peppermint's not one of my favorite candies but I like it for Christmas in certain things so where do you usually spend your holiday I spend it at home 99% of the time I know when my grandmother was alive she's she's been gone 14 years um, she passed away December 1st 14 years ago so Christmas time is different now um, we used to go to her house after we do our own things at home, but yeah, now that she's gone, the family just dispersed. You know how that is. Home on Christmas or travel. So when the kids were younger, we would always stay home for Christmas. They're older, they're all adults now, so mama need to travel. Favorite Christmas song? How can I pick just one? All right, so I'm showing my age here, even though this is a little bit, I don't know when it was made, but The Temptation Silent Night, I would let y'all listen to that, but I don't want to get copyrighted, but that is an amazing song. So if you want to hear a different version of Silent Night, go, go look up Temptation Silent Night. Whitney Houston, she sings, um, I should have wrote it down, like I wrote my questions down. Um, Joy to the World, when Whitney Houston sings it, that version is so good. I mean, how can I pick just one song? Um, Pentatonix, Mary Did You Know, and Can't Forget Mariah Carey, All of Them For Christmas Is You. Christina Aguilera, um, Oh Holy Night. Oh, Baby It's Cold Outside, Michael Buble and Adina Mazel. And um, it's kind of silly, but I also like the old version of I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. I love that song. I can't pick just one. Those are all my favorites. And I'm sure I'm forgetting to mention some, but yeah, those are some of my favorites. Do you open presents on Christmas Eve? Um, no, we do not, now that we are older. When the kids were younger, no, I did not let them open up presents on Christmas Eve. However, once they got a little bit older, I started 
letting them open up one present on Christmas Eve, but they couldn't pick like a big, huge present. And I'll tell you guys a story, which is one of the questions um, or funny Christmas story. So there was one year and the kids were younger. My One of my brothers brought over the gifts so the kids could have to open on Christmas morning because he was coming to my house for Christmas dinner him and his wife that year, but not till later. And he wanted them to have their gifts to open up for Christmas morning. So he comes in like two days before Christmas with a bunch of gifts, right? On Christmas Eve, I told him, okay, pick one gift to open. And I think I did let them pick it that year, but they weren't able to pick any huge gifts or anything like that. So the girls picked their gifts and they, they were happy and excited. I don't even remember, maybe a Barbie doll for Savannah and I don't know, something, whatever for Cheyenne. But Tyreek, poor Tyreek, my brother wrapped batteries which remote control car is something that he gave him and poor Tyreek he was so sad and I didn't let them open up anything else because I'm like well if I let him open up another gift that means the girls have to open up another gift so I don't know mean mama so yeah um, poor Tyreek he opened up batteries on Christmas Eve one year and he was not too happy and you name all of Santa's reindeer I think I can actually um I think of the song hold on Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? And Rudolph, can't forget Rudolph. Is your tree real or fake? It's fake. I don't do real trees. I always say that one year I want to purchase a real tree, but a tree lives out in the forest, in the elements, in the woods, outside, and I've heard stories of critters being inside the tree and all kinds of bugs. And I know that doesn't happen with all of the trees, but that right there will stop me from getting a real tree. I keep saying one year I want to get one, but yeah, um, I'm a fan of fake trees. Clear or colored lights? I like clear lights. When I was younger, all my mom got was colored lights and that's because that's what she liked. And you know, that's okay, that's her prerogative. And I always would ask her, mom, can we get clear lights? And she's like, no, I don't like them. They're not as pretty as, you know, the colored lights. And I just always liked clear lights. So once I got older, I never bought colored lights at all. I don't own colored lights and I don't think I ever will because I like clear lights, so clear lights. If you see me all over the place, it's because my butt's hurting. I don't sit on the floor, so yeah. Um, I probably should have sat on a pillow, but it would have made it easier for me. Be honest, do you like giving or receiving gifts? Well, when I was younger, of course, you know, I was a kid. Me, me, me. Give me, give me, give me. You know, all about me. But now that I'm older, I like giving gifts. I like seeing the joy on people's face, you know, especially when you take the time out to buy them something or even if you don't know what they want, you know, but I'm older, I would much prefer to give a gift. So, do you send Christmas cards? <laughs> so here's the thing. Every year I say, okay, I'm going to send my Christmas cards out this year. And then I go to the store and I'm like, okay, I need to pick up a box of cards or whatever. And if it's not on the list, I usually forget it and walk out the store without it. So, no, I don't send Christmas cards. I know there was one year that I sent them out to everyone. As far as continuously or every year sending Christmas cards, no, I don't. I need to get in the habit of doing it just to let people know that, hey, I'm thinking of you, but y'all know I love y'all. Favorite Christmas gift received? Ooh, gotta think about that one. I had a lot of Christmases. One thing that stands out, um, you guys may think this is the silliest thing, but it touched my heart. So when the kids were younger, I always have a story about when the kids were younger, right? But anyway, when the kids were younger and you know how they're kids and if they want to buy you something, they have to ask you for your own money to purchase you something. So Savannah, she had to been maybe like four, five or six, maybe four or five maybe four. I don't think she was in school then. So she wanted to get all of us something, took it upon herself to go around the house collecting things that we already owned and she wrapped them and she gave it to us. So Cheyenne and Tyreek weren't too happy over that. They were laughing. They were like, oh, you gave me floss or you gave me a comb. This is mine anyway. But to me, that touched my heart because it's like, 
what little kid takes the time to think about, hey, you know, I want to give my family a gift and I don't have no money, so I'm going to make do with whatever's around the house. So I knew she was wrapping something, but I didn't know exactly what it was, but I knew it was something from the house. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? So don't judge me on this, but and when I say this, it's because of everything that I see on TV and movies, but honestly, I want to go to New York for Christmas. Now, I've told people that before in the past that have lived there, and they're like, you don't want to go to New York. It's dirty. It stinks. There's too many people. There's rats. There's this. There's that. Whatever. Okay. I get that. But let me go to New York and enjoy the big, huge Christmas tree, Times Square, and all that Christmas festivities. Let me enjoy that one year. Just give it to me, okay? And let me be the judge on whether New York stinks and all that stuff like that. So if I had to pick a place to go for Christmas, it would be New York. Favorite present given? I don't think I could think of a favorite present that I've given. I mean, I like seeing people's face when I give presents because I like giving presents. So, um, I don't have a favorite present that I've given. Do you own Christmas PJs? I actually think I own a blue snowman nightgown thing. If I don't own it anymore, it's because it was so old I threw it away, but I think I did. So maybe? Are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably? Listen, all right, y'all. I put something on my Instagram a couple days ago that states how I feel about wrapping gifts. So I don't know if it was because when my kids were younger, I had so much stuff to wrap, three kids, you know? And I did all the wrapping that I just hated it. But honestly, you guys, I will wrap one gift, maybe two, and they will be pretty. Then after that, it's all downhill. So we have the gifts that Savannah and Cheyenne wrapped. Nice, pretty. They took the care and time to put a little bow on it and everything. And y'all, listen, don't judge me, okay? Then you have me who thinks they're just gonna grab it and unwrap it. I'm gonna throw the wrapping paper in anyway, right? So look, listen, I don't wanna hear nothing. See how it's bulky? And yes, you, yes, yes, you do see another wrapping paper on here. And that's because I ran out. So this is my wrapping. That's how I wrap. Don't at me in the comments. <laughs> I fell miserably. Favorite holiday tradition? Um, I guess it's when we put the tree up and we're decorating and we have Christmas music playing and I'm making the eggnog. So that's my favorite tradition. Although now that the kids are older, Tariq wasn't here when I put up the Christmas tree. So that was different. Early shopper or last minute? I'm a last minute shopper, you guys. I try every year. I try so hard to start getting things like after Thanksgiving or something like that. But I still have things that are supposed to be coming next week on the 23rd, which I hope it gets here on time. So yes, I'm a last minute shopper. Favorite holiday beverage? Eggnog, so, so good y'all, I had to make some more. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Well, I used to make all these huge elaborate New Year's resolutions and no one I was gonna fail miserably. So I don't do that anymore. I try to stick with little ones, little goals that I know I can accomplish and go from there. If you make them small and then once you obtain that, go from there. And it could be from anything, from losing weight or I'm gonna save this amount. I used to make huge ones and fail miserably, but now I do them in little small increments and I don't even think I have any right now. I'm sure I'm gonna have some as the time gets closer. What makes the holidays special for you? Well, giving gifts and being around family which we can't really do that this year because you know what it's family time it's i don't know the holiday season sometimes people are a little bit nicer when it's the holidays jesus is the reason for the season so family time jesus the worst present ever received you know christmas is not about what you get so even if someone gave me something that I would have never bought myself, would never have thought to use, they took the time to think of you, to buy you something. So I can't say that I received the worst present ever because to me, it's, it's not about that. If they took, like I said, if they took the time to 
get you a gift, whether they re-gifted something they didn't want anymore, they thought about you. So last one is when do you start getting excited for Christmas? Usually after Thanksgiving, because on Thanksgiving you usually watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which was quite different this year. I don't know if you guys tuned in, but yeah, um, it was different, um, which can be expected because of everything that's going on. Even though my kids are adults now, I don't know why I did that, they are adults. Um, they're still kids at heart, and especially the day we put up the Christmas tree. That's when I get excited. That's when I feel like, hey, it's Christmas. So, yeah, you guys. But let me know in the comments. I want to know, do you guys like wrapping gifts? I just want to know because I fail miserably, and I will admit it. Hey, I'm not an artsy type of person, whatever, and I don't even know if art has anything to do with wrapping gifts. I don't know. But, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys like wrapping gifts or not. All right, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!